Let's make our first professional graph with Plotly. Here I have some data, which is the distance from the water that we sampled, and here's the number of seeds that we encountered in that piece of ground. We'll click here, say make a plot. Let's do a scatter plot, let's say. Now it calls up this toggle box. I'm going to want this to be my x-axis and this to be my y-axis. As soon as I select that, just come on up and hit plot. In this case, it says scatter plot, and boom, there we go. There's our our x-axis down here, here's our y. Now, um, we'll virtually never want to do an incredibly simple plot like that. We always want to have a measure of the central tendency and the variance. Let's return to our graph and actually complete this. Actually, we're going to want error bars, so I'm going to select this. If I had uh, error bars that were not even positive and negative or up and down, I would pick asymmetric. In this case, uh, we, have, uh, we, we calculated standard error and we'll pick error bars. Now notice I have an additional option here. This is the standard error for the seeds that we encountered. So I'll go ahead and pick this to be my error in the, on the y-axis. Just like before, I come over here, hit scatter plot, and boom, there we go. We have a scatter plot with some measure of error. You're almost assuredly going to, going to want to change your fonts. We'll show that in a second. Um, but that will also depend on your particular venue for showing this graph, if it's going to be online, if it's going to be on a poster, etc. Before we get into that though, let's go ahead and mess with some of our labeling. In this case, we have distance from water in meters, so that seems to be okay. I would tend to come up here and put a lowercase d on that, but that's me. Over here though, this axis isn't properly labeled. This simply says seeds. We need to add something else in there. So let's double click on, or click on that, excuse me. And we'll come up here, and we're going to say this is seeds, and let's say this is per meter squared. How I'm going to signal that is to come over here and put this guy like so. S-U-P for superscript. Go over here just to the right, and I'm going to insert this bracket here and do slash S-U-P, which says turn off the superscript. And now when I click out of this guy, what we're going to see is that we have seeds per meter squared as the units. So I've got that guy labeled properly. Let's come on up here and let's say something like that. Okay? So we have our default things out here, up here, and we have our axes labeled, all of that good stuff. We can come up here into traces, Traces will affect the element that shows our data. So right here, for example, we can uh, manipulate the, all kinds of things, but let's just first go to Style. Note we can choose the size of our plots. We can come up here similarly and mess with whatever we want, how wide we want our, our tops of our error bars to be, how wide we want our lines to be, etc. Note that I could change the color of this if I wanted it to be, say, a different color blue to set it off, or if I wanted it to be a purple, or what have you. Axes up here will allow me to adjust my axes. Right now, I think that's, that seems pretty, a pretty good uh, rendering of our data, so I don't need to do that. But let's say there was something that was going on here. Let's say that uh, we had a fire on campus, say, just theoretically speaking, and this is where uh, the fire reached, this close. I might want to do some kind of notation. One option for that is to click on Notes. Come over here, I'll click the plus sign. I'm going to insert a note. I'm going to say, I'm going to do that guy, BR for break, uh, burn, limit. Okay. Clean that up a little bit, take my spaces out, and there we go. So now we can take this text box and we can move it around, we can, we can move this to, to here, we can do all kinds of cool stuff. We can get rid of the arrow, and we can move this guy to over here, wherever, whatever we'd like to do, and on and on. You may have need for a legend, in which case you could say show. In this case, it gives us absolutely nothing. It's a single type of data, single group of data. So we can just say hide. Note that when we come up to the layout, we can change the overall default 
si uh, t style and size of our fonts. So if we want to make this Arial, for example, all of the fonts will change. So again, we can change things globally. We can change things per group, per axis, whatever the case may be. So there we go. There's our first graph with Plotly. We can manipulate everything further, but that's our first effort to generate a professional-looking graph.